Hey folks, welcome back to another 10 minute job. Um, here today we're working on a problem with my wife's 2015 GMC Terrain. So the windshield washers are not spraying any fluid. Nothing. So we're going to replace the pump. I got a new pump. Um, try to show you how easy or difficult that may be. Um, so we're going to get right into it. All right, so we're up under here, left front driver's driver's side front. Um, we've got to get this panel off right here. I've already taken off these push clips, these guys right here. So all you do is you pop this out, and I should have shown that. Basically, you get it started. Hopefully, you can see what I'm doing here. Pop it out like that. Slide this guy in there. Wiggle it, and then pry it up and out like that, and that releases this. So now that can squeeze, and the whole thing comes out. You push it back in, just reverse, just plug that in, and when that's pushed in, it can't squeeze anymore, locks it in. It's very simple. Now we're onto the few screws here. I've got a Star Torx, it's a T20 that I'm using. Looks like we've got a few more down here. Let's see what we got. There's a tiny little one. Let's try a nine. Smaller than nine millimeter. See right back. Alright. Six millimeter? Nope. That's probably seven millimeter, the one I'm missing. Find out here in just a second. Sure is. Be right back. Alright, I found it. So couldn't find my seven millimeter, so I've got a nine thirty second. Get these loose. A little bolt and washer. There's only two yet. Take these out. And there's this little tabby pop. Now this whole thing peels back. And you can now see, and you can't see, right up in the in there. Right here. That's our washer pump right there. So now we're going to disconnect each side here. It's the in and the out motors back here it drops down into here there's a peg that comes down and then the wiring on top we're gonna pop that out pop a new one in give it a test and we should be done Just wiggling this off, trying to be gentle, I don't want to damage it. It's going to come out until I put it above the level. Hopefully we can get it up there without covering the camera. Now we get the other side. Same deal. I'm kind of 
wiggle it back and forth to break it free. Plug that up. And got to pop a connector off as well. That pops out. And then I grab the new one, pop it in real quick, reconnect, and we're good to go. I'll show you that. Alright, so I'm going to try to hold this and show you. I'm going to pop this little rubber guy out. I'm trying to definitely float in there. That wasn't the problem. And then I'm going to pop the new one in. Yeah, that's why I'm going to hold you. You can see, I guess, just like that with my shoulder. Try to feed this new one in here. I mean, spilling water flow is not the end of the world, so it's just going to be what it will be. Oh, <laughs> and I dropped it. Let's try that again. Let's do this. Oh, come on. Alright, we're getting there. I'm gonna wiggle that thing in there. Just like that. Okay, now we take our new pump and the same thing. So you're gonna see there's this spot right back here hopefully you can see that the lighting's not too bad i hope there's a spot back here that it kind of snaps into and then this bottom peg here pops down into the bottom where my finger's covering up pretty much as simple as that i'm gonna try to get the bottom in first to plug that hole and then we pop the top in that. And it starts flowing out the side. So now I just got to connect my hose up. Oh my goodness, this is going to be the worst video ever. So I just plug that hose up and we're finally done leaking everywhere. So now I pop this electrical connector off. Looks like just have a tab. figured it out so let's see if I can get a good angle on that there's a little tab let me show you the old one there's a little tab right here that's the only catch to the connector right here it's got a little catch down inside there so you have to pop that up and then it just pops right out now pop the new this on to the new one just click it back down like that we're all done Got no more leaking. We've got both hoses hooked up here, connector on top. The new gasket down in there. Should be good to go. Still have plenty of fluid in here. So now we'll go test it out. Alright. See if we did a good job. Let me keys go. Alright, let's see. There it goes. Problem solved. 10 minute job. All done. 
Okay, so now I'm gonna put it all back together. So, put this under here. The one thing I wanna mention, while I was researching this, I really only found one or two videos. And the one, the guy took the entire front bumper cover off just to get to that. So I kind of said, no, I don't think that needs to be done. Turns out I was right. All you gotta do is pop this cover off here. I turned the wheel, by the way, all the way to the left to try to give me a little more room. I think that helped out a decent bit. So now the trick is just lining up all these holes. Putting everything back together. Be real simple. like that. You remember these push pins. Pop that out like that so that it can close. Put it in the hole, close it up. Very simple. And then a screw is a screw, right? By the way, for the one I'm doing, I just had the two screws and the two plastic pop-out keepers. But I do see a hole back here, so I think we were missing one. So I'm probably gonna go buy a kit. You can buy small kits of these things, they're pretty cheap. I'm gonna pop one back in there. I don't know if you could see that. But this one back here was already missing. So again, I think I'll get a new one later on and fill that hole so that this isn't flapping around so bad. Pop that out. Stick it in the hole. You can't see what I'm doing. Close it up. Pick it up again a little bit. Not need a whole lot of torque on these. Just right. Now all I gotta do, all I gotta do is these bottom ones. Which where did that? Yeah. Get away from me. Okay, we want to be real light. Hopefully you can see it all. What I'm doing here. Just like that. That's it. Again, I really want to get... Oh no. You know what I was saying is I really want to get another keeper right up in there because right now this whole thing is kind of loose I don't know if there's any more I'm missing up there doesn't look like it I think it's just this one right here everything else appears to be fastened down pretty well but anyways that's it it was a quick 10 minute job actual 10 minute job it wasn't bad at all that is replacing your windshield washer pump this guy is the old one Old part number. Um, let's go over and show you the new part number. Where's that box go? Right here. So that's the new one. I'm gonna hit the wrong button, but again, there's the new one. That's all I bought. A very simple process. So I had already checked the fuse, everything like that, made sure it didn't work. You saw that. So I just determined, and I think. It was only $18, $15, $16, somewhere in there. Very cheap, so I figured I'd buy it, swap it out, make sure that that worked. If that wasn't the problem, I could have just returned it. But anyways, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Let me know in the comments what you think of our videos. We really appreciate it. Have a good one.